Hi Cancer, it's Elle here with a random read. So I've got three cards for you, shells pulled. Um, thank you to all who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Um, thank you to my newcomers also. So let's get into this. So Cancer. Okay, the Butterfly Oracle card I have is leaving. So some of you are leaving, something behind, leaving, leaving. And then at the bottom of the deck, the tarot, the tarot deck, we have seven of wands. So some of you, this could be about a relationship, a marriage, a contract. How you are coming off to others is standing up for yourself, defending your position. You're maintaining control of the situation by defending a position that you have taken, a stance. You may even be defending a relationship, a marriage, or a contract. Uh, or you could be defending against. Let's see what this is all about in regards to um, self-defense. Wow. Okay. Um, all right. So the first card we have is, wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Aquarius had the Wheel of Fortune in the same position. The Hermit. The Eight of Swords. The Aquarius had the Hermit, not the Eight of Swords. Some of you are... It's like spiritual awakeness. You understand that something has to end in order for something else to begin. You're coming into the culmination of, of, of some really good uh, energy. Luck is changing. Fortune is with you. It says that luck is on your side. But keep in mind, you don't get to control how things play out. You don't get to control your luck. So do know that good things are happening in the interim. You might can't see that this is good, whatever the this is in your life. But then when you get on the other side of the this, you see, you'll say, well, that happened because of this. And this is great. It says that right now you um, maybe have separated yourself from something or someone or you are separated from someone it says that spiritual uh, spiritually um, you, you have awakened to something it says that right now it's an inner knowing of something but you're trying to either repress it or, or, or run from it but and you're looking for answers outside of yourself but the answers are within you you have the answer you are the hermit you have the life experience the, that light that lantern you know what to do next you know where to go uh, you have the knowledge you have the wisdom of you're feeling like I said feeling trapped stuck bound not seeing a way out of a particular situation but wanting to leave it wherever it may be um, you have the cyclical thoughts negative thoughts of I can't or I won't or this won't happen or this isn't or with the eight of swords here um, this may be you being completely merged with someone else this could also lean toward codependency this could be you having merged your life with someone else but you take on most of the brunt most of the, the legwork most of the work in the relationship you bring in and, and then there is a consumer which is the other person wow that's the first so that's how some of it's coming off um, you may have been you feel bound to something by way of marriage a contract some big purchase um, sex let's see the shells that we have are what yep money family blessings nice message and we have mom so there's an air of codependency in regards to a situation. Um, you feel bound and stuck to maybe someone because of what they do for you or, or what you do for them, vice versa. There is 
something leaning toward codependency, whether it's you cancer, having the codependent nature or someone else. Uh, you need to look at maybe a situation uh, where someone has helped you or is helping you as a blessing. Um, there is money to be made or you are getting money uh, or you feel bound to something or someone by way of money. You're trying to defend a position. Uh, you're trying to get through the message of message of hmm, a message either to your mother or a message about being a mother. You're trying to look at a situation as a blessing. Maybe being a mother is a blessing. And you may depend on family here for some of you. family for either money, support, help. Your mom may be very relevant. Your mom may give you some particular guidance in regards to what to do next. Um, at the bottom of the deck, Cancer, it says get some rest. And I think this card came up because you are the Wheel of Fortune. This is happening for you. You don't have to do too much work anymore. Defend your position and then leave it alone. Get some rest. Do something for yourself. You may have been working hard or you work hard or something about um, you leaving a situation but feeling stuck, bound, tied to by way of money, being a mother or your family or their family, a family dynamic something about that a uh, cancer i hope that this reading resonated with you gave you a bit of clarity go over to the website book your own reading there make sure you use coupon code 10 off 35 at the website level thank you once again take care guys